All right, guys, so I'm leaving TJ Maxx. I just got the little shelf thing. We're gonna see if it works for the area I need it to work in. Um, Y'all know I have like a king size bed, so the space in my room is pretty limited. So basically, I need a under the table bed, but I don't wanna get like one of the big hospital bed type. I mean, not bed, but hospital tables. So, I want it like, you know, a wooden, maybe walnut looking aesthetic one, but they don't have anything like that that's adjustable. So, <sighs> yeah, I just got this and I'm gonna see how it is. But if I have to return it, that's fine. I'll just, you know, do that another time. But I'm also going to look in Ross because I need a, or want, <laughs> I don't need it, but I want it. Uh, um rug that's like five by seven to go in my living room and i also want to look at like kitchen rugs so i don't know but we'll see y'all um their rug section is always crazy but anyway i'm trying to find the cutest print i found this one so far and it's only like 16 something um it's four by six it's not five by seven but i mean as y'all can see it's a little limited they don't really have anything over here in the tall rugs just spotted another section right here um i'm looking at this one but i don't know if this gray is gonna be a little too blue looking like to match my sofa i don't like this little yellow in here though i think that's going to be the thing to make me leave it I literally needed these and I can't believe I found them in a thrift store. I mean, I can, that's why I look for them, but this is like what I needed today and I usually can't find exactly what I need, so. There's something that moves somebody out their spot. Mm -hmm. And then what I get is someone who's running down pieces of their resume that are supposed to impress me. I was trying to pick up an order, but I got there and they were like, oh, the order's canceled, so. <sighs> now I'm just getting back in the car so i'm just sitting here waiting to see if they're gonna like place the order again because this order was like 12 dollars and like three miles so if they do place the order again i want to be close to the restaurant so it can like come to me but i don't know they might not even do it um but that's annoying when you come to a restaurant and then as soon as you walk in they're just like oh the order was canceled <laughs> that's so annoying but um whatever i'm gonna sit here about two three more minutes and see and if not then whatever on to the next order they already sent a different one but i didn't accept it because that one was like 5.9 miles for five dollars so no <laughs> we're not doing that when i just had one that was like three miles for twelve dollars but um, anyway, I'm burning up now. I need to get another water. I just like down this one, but I really have to start using my little cooler because y'all know I was on a hunt to get like a cooler to just keep in my car and I found the perfect one. And now like, I don't even use it all the time. So I have to start really, you know, staying on it and always using it the guy that i just delivered to was nice he gave me a little tip on top of you know what he paid me on the app it's only two more dollars but still like that makes a difference i'm always daydreaming and it feels so good to daydream i don't know i read something like <laughs> when you daydream it's like bad something's happening with your brain or something like you're having a mini stroke or something i read i don't know but i don't believe all that i just think you know it feels good but anyway i'm leaving because they're not gonna reorder this <sighs> stuff
finish cooking. Um, I have a little plate that I'm going to be eating right there. But I made two little like meal prep type bowls over here for me and also two for my son. Um, and he actually loves Brussels sprouts. My plate looks crazy because this is the plate that I had the sweet potatoes in. And I popped those in the microwave so that they can get a little softer because the air fryer didn't really soften them. It just was starting to kind of burn them. So I just finished cooking them in the microwave. But yeah. It's very flavorful and good, and I'm just drinking some water, and I'm about to go and chill out because it's 1030. I'm not supposed to really be eating this late, but whatever, I didn't really eat a lot today. Hey y'all, so that food was really good. My son loves Brussels sprouts, um, and that's, you know, I guess rare because kids just I don't know. I don't know if that's like real kids or just TV kids that always say they hate Brussels sprouts, but my son actually loves them. So, um, yeah, we enjoyed that. And now I'm just laying here watching Seinfeld <laughs> and like I'm cracking up at them. They're so stupid on there. This is the episode where George's um, girlfriend got a nose job because he was like, stressed out about her how big her nose was so like <laughs> he was trying not to just you know come out and tell her that he didn't like her nose but when she was saying you know <laughs> that she wanted to get a nose job he was like well yeah if you want to do it <laughs> then i can't stand in your way or whatever so um stupid kramer just bust out and was like um yeah you're a nice looking lady you just need a nose job <laughs> and everybody was like you know tiptoeing around the subject or whatever but y'all know kramer is like just crazy but anyway um i'm just laying here and y'all oh my god i'm so happy that it's august because i looked up what's the hottest month last month and it was definitely july so now that it's august i already feel like relief and they're saying that tomorrow is going to be even cooler so <sighs> i'm just so happy like it felt so good outside today so if it's going to be even cooler tomorrow like that's going to be so dope today was good because it's like i got to kind of you know take a walk while i was working so in between trips, I just basically would stroll, you know, back and forth downtown. Um, so, yeah, I'm probably going to pretty much do the same thing tomorrow. Um, I haven't really been going to the gym, but I have been taking really good walks, like, you know, 6,000, 7,000 step walks. Um, I know that that's probably not <laughs> a lot to some people, but it's a lot for me um definitely because i have a driving job and i mean technically i don't really have to walk anywhere but the fact that i'm making time to like you know get out and walk is really good now when i was working retail i probably was walking way more than this but um you have to like carve out time Y'all, I just got this little silly app called Revive. And basically, you can, like, put anybody's picture on there and it makes them look like they're singing or, like, talking or telling jokes or whatever. So, y'all should check that out because we've been, like, cracking up, putting different pictures in there and just, like, making the thing sing. Tomorrow. <laughs> So I'm just going to pick up an order. Um, I'm going to this restaurant 
Sushi Republic. And hopefully the order's done because I know sometimes they could take hella long in there. My sister got me this um, mace, by the way, because she knows my job can be a little, you know, intimate with people's apartments and their animals and stuff. So she got my mother and I these. Y'all, I got the order, but um, I had to almost like curse this lady out earlier because I was picking up the first order and she basically was telling me to wait and not take the bag. Now, this was at Taco Bell, by the way. So, um, I got there, you know, I was asking her to basically confirm that I was picking up the right bag. So I asked her like, you know, is this Sarah's or whatever the person's name was. So instead of her like checking, she's like, she starts asking me the same question that I'm asking her. So she's like, is that it? <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, this is it. So now as I go to pick up the bag, she's like, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so um, I'm like, you know, this is Sarah's or whatever, like trying to reconfirm it with her. Cause she was saying it as if, you know, I was taking the wrong order or something. But I'm like, you know, this is Sarah's. So she's like, no, but you gotta get some drinks to go with it. You could have had the drinks ready, you know, before I even got there. Like they do most of the time. But um, yeah, so then I'm like, okay, you know, I'll wait for the drinks. So now I grab the bag and I'm just gonna like, you know, hold it and stand there with it. So once again, she's like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> so, so I'm like, lady, I'm waiting. Like I'm, I'm waiting. So now I'm talking to her like she's an idiot or whatever. Cause I'm like, why do you keep like, you know, like, I don't know, trying to put me on blast or something. So yeah i hate when people like you know kind of take me out of my character because i don't like having to go off on people but it's like you're also not about to sit there and talk to me like you know i'm two years old like i heard you say to hold on and wait for the drinks but she's like wait wait so i'm like i'm waiting <laughs> but anyway let me um get off y'all and pull up this gps i'm just driving like i know where the people live or something several days later y'all i'm laughing because um <clears throat> i don't even really know who these people are but you know the people that stand on the corner and sell like newspapers and bean pies <laughs> um he was just like holding these two magazines and showing me but it was weird because it looked like it was like his face on the magazines so it was like hella funny because like he was like tipping his head and then it's like two big faces on these magazines. So he was like <laughs> and it just looked hella funny. I'm like so I had to just give him like the little you know I'm gonna put it on the screen but it's that meme where they be like how black people I mean how white people smile at black people or whatever so um because I'm like <laughs> but i'm like why did you tip your head like that like it was i can't really capture how funny it was by just telling y'all but i was thinking about going to a farmer's market i don't even know if it's still open it's 10 42 um i was supposed to wake up at 7 30 and i did wake up but i still like laid around until nine something so I don't know if it's even open anymore. I really don't feel like driving back over there. So I'm gonna like pull over and check the hours that it's open because I don't have gas to just be like driving all over the world. Yeah, that was hella funny, y'all. He was like, <laughs> like he wanted me to see that it was him like so bad or something. Why do people drive so slow? I mean, the light is green, like, but yet I'm only doing 15 because I'm behind this person. Okay, so it's still open, y'all. It says it closes in an hour and 17 minutes. So I 
still have time to go. Hey guys, so I'm at a farmer's market. I'm so excited. I don't know why, cause I know I'm not really coming in here to like buy anything, but I'm gonna buy something, but you know, I'm not like really on a mission today. I just wanted to come because I've never been to one. Um, so yeah, they close at 12. It's like almost 11 in a couple of minutes. So I have an hour to go in here, but yeah, I'll show y'all how it looks when I get in there. Okay, so I'm trying not to really capture people, but it looks like this. Yeah, it just is basically a bunch of booths set up and, you know, people have like different items. It looks different than I was expecting, so. All right, so first of all, I'm sorry that I couldn't get more footage, but it was so packed in there, like I wouldn't have felt right just like, you know, panning the camera around. And also everybody looks so like, thirsty for a sale that I was like but anyway I ended up buying some peaches so they don't look amazing but I said well let me you know try it like fresh from an actual farm because maybe I'll have a different experience I also want to um, give my mother one or some this is a quart full that I bought so, I just want to see if it's going to taste better. And it should, you know. People always rave about, like, buying stuff farm fresh. So, hopefully it's good. But, yeah, I thought that I was going to go in there and get, like, all this footage of all the vegetables and all that. But, first of all, I feel like I went a little too late. And everything was probably, you know, picked through. Um, and yeah, like, <laughs> like the vendors were just trying to make eye contact so hard. So I was like, man, let me not even like go over there recording their stuff and then don't want to buy it. Um, so yeah, but I record in Sprouts or. <laughs> you know somewhere like that whole foods or something y'all can see some vegetables like that but yeah that didn't really go the way that i planned on it going but this was um seven dollars for this bag that sounds you know pretty expensive but i said i have to buy something you know i definitely haven't had a peach in a long time because i've been avoiding grocery store peaches because I feel like they're always just disappointing so you know I just want to see if these are going to be good I know some people would just bite right into this but I have to take mine home and like wash it because you can literally still see like not dirt but like like the fuzz from the peach and like little fibers and stuff like you could tell it's really off a farm so nah I gotta go take this home and like wash it. All right guys, I'm just washing the peaches off. All right guys, so this is how the peaches look. Y'all see what I'm saying when I say like, you see the actual little like fibers and stuff on them. So yeah, definitely about to wash these before I taste one. I would let them get cold, but I feel like peaches are one of those things that doesn't necessarily have to be cold to be good. This looks like the best one, I feel like. Okay, so this is how it looks now. Y'all, if it's hard, hard, I'm gonna be so mad. Like, it doesn't feel soft. Mm. It's actually really good. And it feels really firm on the outside, but the inside is like, you know, soft and juicy. You know it's good when you have to be like, and like, slurp it up. So. Yeah, I gotta give my mother one or two of these. Cause she's from the South and like, she always talks about how 
like when she was a child the peaches were so good but now like the grocery store ones just aren't really good anymore and i feel like this is what she was talking about yeah it's really good y'all <laughs> so let me go take her some <laughs> so do you guys know where i'm going back to the farmer's market to get some more peaches because they were that good i um gave my son and my mother some and i was telling her like yeah i can go back and get more because i know like she really loves peaches and it's like so rare that you get a good peach but yeah i'm definitely about to pull back up in here and grab another pint of these peaches is it a pint or a quart i think it's a quart um I still have 33 minutes. Hey y'all, taking another walk. <laughs> if I'm like back down to like 125, 130, this is gonna be why, cause I'm taking so many walks, but um, I don't wanna, you know, lose that much weight. But I think like my lowest that I would ever wanna be again is like 145. I'm looking like is this my sister but no it's not um yeah the lowest i would ever want to be again is definitely like 145 i could even say 140 but i wouldn't want to be any um lighter than that so i'm never going in here again because they were so rude when i went in there like i was the only customer in there and you know i said hi to the lady she just looked at me so i'm like okay well maybe she didn't hear me so i said hi again and she still didn't say anything so i just left i'm like oh, okay never mind sweetie you won't be getting a dime from me you'll be in here with no customers and you know going out of business because you don't have any customer skills like how do you <laughs> first of all i shouldn't have had to greet her first because when i'm in a job like that I always like greet the customer first so that was even weird in the first place but then for you to just blatantly be ignoring me like so yeah i'm never going in there again um <sighs> y'all want to see me in the mirror <laughs> I always do this and it looks so funny but yeah i just wore like slides today because i wasn't trying to wear sneakers i still had i think so yeah you're welcome um i didn't wear sneakers but i do have a pair in my car like just in case wanna do is gas me how we end up in the backseat just trying to get to the back we on the same page you the same way only keep the family hey guys so i'm in um cheesecakes by alex i'm just trying to order a drink because my sister ordered something and we're um sitting in front of the restaurant so i'm like let me just come back in here and get something because i thought we were just gonna be walking um so I didn't get anything initially, but I just came back in <laughs> to get a drink at least because we're like sitting, you know, in front of the store. But yeah, the, the stuff looks really good in here. Um, I feel bad just getting a drink, honestly. I feel like I should be getting some sort of dessert, but at the same time, like I'm supposed to be going to the gym today. I literally only ate vegetables, so it doesn't make sense to now come in and like ruin that. So yeah <laughs> this is what i got it's a white chocolate mocha one on one looking at us because we going dumb we on the same wave you're the same way you know i'll be done if it's with you where we going